the last time somebody asked you a question about your ears? Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? I did that as an adult performer, but I'm going to show you how to simplify this. Come play this song with me and do some more practice between C and G. If you're just stumbling across this video, well, hi, welcome, I'm Lisa, I'm the ukulele fool, but this is not the place for you to start. If you already know your C and G chord, great, then this is a place to start, but I've got a whole playlist of how to get to this point down below. All right, for those of you that have been following along, this is just another chance for us to practice our C and G and put it with a song that's a little humorous. Here's just a few reminders to help you be successful with this song. Is your ukulele in tune? That makes your ukulele sound a lot better. So if it doesn't sound like, my dog has fleas, then tune it up and come on back. Does your G sound nice? Remember, you've got your bunny foo foo fingers, peace sign, and then your ring finger comes in there. Take a look at that, the bunny foo foo fingers and then the ring finger. Should sound like that. If you have a clunking sound, something that doesn't sound right is most likely that ring finger and it is falling down on the A string. So if you've got any dead sounds like that, that's probably the culprit. Make sure that you're trying to get your, your fingers as close as possible to those fret bars that also makes it sound nice and pretty. Let's just practice a little, do, little warm up going from C to G. Let's do four C's, four G's, back to the C just to practice nice and slowly. Starting with the C. One, two, and here we go. C, two, three, four, and G. sounds nice and that you're ready to go. Remember, you do not have to tackle songs like eating your dinner in one bite. You can take bite-sized chunks. In fact, I really highly recommend that you just try singing it along with me first. Just get the tune in your ear, get the words, and then the second time through, lightly mute with your fingers and just strum and sing. Then why don't you play every C and just don't worry about the G. So it would sound like this. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? This song is a little bit more challenging because you have to go C, G, C at the end of each verse. So, if you can play the C and G but not do it that fast, then leave off that last line or just play the C part. Eventually, keep working at it, do this daily, and you'll have it. It's like that. Hey, I've got a history nerd alert for you and, and some vocabulary as well before we do the play along. A continental soldier. We, hear, we have that in the lyrics, the words to this song. And a continental soldier, that was back when in the Revolutionary War, the Americans, well, of course, we weren't really, you know, we, we were in America, but anyway, they called it the Continental Army as opposed to the British Army across the way. And they frequently, they didn't have appropriate hats and all that stuff. They just had scarves that they would tie over to keep their ears warm in the winter time. And so that was, do your ears hang low? Did the, it's the scarf that's hanging low, not 
really their ears. So that's what a continental soldier is, and that's what this song started out to be. But they added some other verses. And so there's a verse, I'm looking at my, my music here. Can you semaphore your neighbor? Oh, oh, semaphore. That's this system of flags to spell out letters of the alphabet. And so it's a way of communicating long distance rather than picking up your cell phone. So it was a flag thing. So if your ears uh, hang so low that they're like flags where, that you could use to signal, can you semaphore your neighbor? Hmm. And let's see, can you use them for a blotter? Blotters are still used today, particularly in the cosmetic industry to like blot your nose if your nose gets oily or blot your lips. They also used it back in when they used ink pen and wells and they would blot the ink. That means they dry it up a little. So that's what blotting is. You blot out it. You might do that when you're trying to remove a stain on something, blot it up with a little bit of, of detergent. One, two, and here we go. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? Do your ears hang high? Do they reach up to the sky? Do they droop? When they're wet, do they stiffen when they're dry? Can you semaphore your neighbor with a minimum of labor? Do your ears hang high? Do your ears flip flop? Can you use them for a mop? Are they stringy at the bottom? Are they curly at the top? Can you use them for a swatter? Can you use them for a blotter? Do your ears flip flop? Hang out, can you wiggle them about? Can you flip them up and down as you fly around the town? Can you shut them up for sure when you hear an awful bore? Do your ears hang out? All right, I hope that's going well. Give me a fist bump. Unfortunately, YouTube, if you make a video for kids, you can't leave a comment down below, which is kind of well, that's too bad because I'd like to hear how you're doing. You, your parents can reach out to me on Facebook and let me know how things are going and ask me questions too. So that's a good way to get a hold of me. I also have an email. I'll put my email down below if anybody has any questions. Thanks.